What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris. I get Mr. 545 for the TV in the building. Today we are doing um, replacement of our side mirrors. We're going to replace the stock side mirrors with some tow mirrors, which are these big bad boys here. I ordered these off of Amazon for my Tahoe, my 2008 Chevrolet Tahoe. Um, these do have a heated mirror, turn signal, reverse light, and got a little extension there. So I am very excited to put these mirrors on. Can't wait. So I'm gonna kind of run through. Oh yeah, it has a turn sit on the back also. So I can't wait to put these on. I'm gonna take y'all through the process of removing the mirror and installing these. So after the intro, hey, we're gonna be right back at it. Now, so we are on to removing the door panel. I actually thought I can install the mirrors without removing the door panel, but we have to get to a connector, which is behind the door panel. Um, there are three 10 millimeter screws that's holding it on and some clips. Um, I gotta kind of hang it off now, but if you see inside here, where your handle is, there's two screws there. And here is actually the door panel that you gotta take off the little, uh, cover that you got to take off to get to those screws the other one is right there by the um the handle Let's see if i can zoom in on it for you actually i have to lift it up so you see that screw there and all these screws are 10 millimeter screws so um i removed the ones here already the two so now I gotta just remove that one. Actually, I did remove that one already. So the door panel's already really off. I'm really not gonna take it off no further than that. I don't wanna take it off any further. Um, but so let's get to removing the mirror. And the mirror is actually held on by two or three 10 millimeter screws. I'm gonna use my, my 10 here to get the job done and we'll be right back. All right, to remove this uh, cable here, I had to lift up um, this control module here. And this cord is actually going to these here, which will control our mirror. So we're gonna just pull this tab in and pull up. So those should be loose. And we're gonna just pull it out of here. All right, now we're gonna just um, take our mirror off. We already got the screws unscrewed, um, the 10 millimeter. Um, and there will be a cap here that you will have to take off. And mine is kind of messed up. Um, so I didn't really have to take it off, but um, they're gonna be capped here, which I'm gonna show you on the passenger side also. But for right now, we're gonna just go ahead and take this off and remove our mirror.
And here is our mirror. They were removed. All right, now it's time for the installation of our new mirrors. I will have to fish the wires through. These wires, the gray and white one, is actually for the reverse lamp, which I will be uh, plugging in under the dashboard. You do have a wire down there that you can tap into. So we got that through. One thing I did realize was the connector from your old mirror did have two connectors, but this one has one, so I guess we'll kind of see how they will play. All right, we're going to put our screws on. Again, there are three screws um, to put this on. I actually only have two in there for some odd reason, but that's that's fine. Make sure you get it nice and tight. All right, let's see what these boys look like. All right, so that's the tow mirrors there. Uh, I like it. I like it. it's gonna make my truck look even more beefier because I am getting a 7.5 rough country lift on my truck. So if you haven't seen my other videos, I was talking about me doing an overhaul on my Tahoe. So. Here is most definitely the overhaul. This is the process, the process here. All right, again, you know what I told you, we got heated mirrors, uh, turn signals, backup lamp, and we have a turn signal on the back. So that's gonna be pretty dope. So let's get to the wiring of our tow mirrors. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and connect our connector back, which it's gonna go here. It says black, so you'll know which one it goes to. Black, white, and blue, that's for the connectors itself. So we're gonna connect this right to the black one. All right, that's on. We're gonna put this back in. And then we're gonna put our door panel back on. So let's turn the truck on just to make sure that our side mirrors work. Also that um, when we move our uh, control that the mirror does move. So 
put the key in, turn the ignition. We're not gonna cut, a, cut the truck on, but we're gonna turn it a little bit. Turn signals. So we see the front works. Let's check out the back. Back works. Man, when I say I love this, I love it. Let's make sure that it moves. And it does move. So this is a success. Um, now, we are gonna connect the reverse lights. That is optional. You don't have to um, use those. But of course, I want everything fully functional, everything fully working that I paid for. If it comes with it, I want it to work. So now let's get to uh, connecting our reverse lamp. All right, so I did have to take the door panel off. I forgot that I do gotta uh, see in this wire here through this boot. And then it's from under the dashboard. So I did forget about that. So I had to take the panel back off. We're gonna remove this white cover here. And we can access the boot from here. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Let me see if I can get a... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get a good shot on it. But you see where the boot is here? I can actually shake it so you know I am by it. Well, actually, you know what? I can remove this whole thing. And then we're gonna fish the wire through that boot. And again, it's gonna come out from under the dash. And that will be where we will be connecting our reverse lights. I got it going through this part of the white part of this liner and then going through here and this is going to go in there through the boot. So the way we're gonna fish it through, um, I did take the bottom kick panel off. So I'm gonna just kind of wrap it around my flat head. And I'm gonna see if this works, if I can somehow get it to go through. So I do got the wire through. Let's see if I can get this flathead back out of here without pulling the wire back out.
And you could have used a clothes hanger or really anything. So I do got my wire. All right, we're gonna put our panel, I mean our boot back on there. I'm gonna fish this through the, far, the port here, the firewall. Got it. Put our boot back on. There we go. All right, now let's get to um, tapping our wire into our reverse light down below. All right, so I decided to do something a little different. Um, I was gonna run the wire under the dashboard, but I couldn't figure out which wire went to the reverse light. So what I did was I ran the wire all the way through the um, trunk, in which I am gonna tuck it. So you wanna even know it's there. And I tied it right into my reverse light on my Cadillac Escalade lights. Um, if you haven't seen the installation of that, go to my videos. I do got an installation of the Cadillac lights and where to get them. So I tied it right into here. So let's check to make sure it works. So let's put the car truck in reverse. And I don't have the truck on, I just have it like turned to the first ignition. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Yep, so it's working. So everything should be working properly for this. And so the way I'm gonna tie the second tow mirror is, let me turn this off. So the way I'm gonna tie the second mirror is this power wire. I'm gonna run this power wire all the way over to this power wire of the other mirror. And um, this ground wire, I'm gonna ground it. So the way I ground the ground wire is, actually right here this is the ground wire the negative i just put it to this boat here we kind of took it back there once i put the um, kit panel and stuff back on but yeah so i just ran it to the back which is simple i mean it's simple you might as well go that route um because you could take say if you don't have Cadillac escalate lights you do have the regular lights and you can see where your reverse bulb is just patch it right in honestly so that's pretty much it, man. Um, the installation of the tow mirrors, which I am super happy for. I mean, I, I love these things already. They make the truck look a whole lot beefier looking. I love it. Hit the comment section, let me know, you know what you think about it. Or if you see, or if you're trying to install it yourself, and you didn't see a step that I did, just hit me up and I will uh, guide you through it in the comment section. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at 540TV, 540TV Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, 540TV everything. But again, um, this was a successful installation. I will be doing the headlights next. I'm taking these headlights off and replacing the headlights and also I am replacing the grill with um with some um a new grill with the with the daytime running lights on the grill which is pretty dope but yeah I mean I'm super happy with the job I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that side and um matter of fact let me show you the panel I was talking about so that's the panel that triangle thing right there that's the actual panel i was speaking about and it just pops right off honestly nothing really to it but thank y'all for watching the video make sure y'all subscribe to the channel once you make sure you hit the post notification bell so you get all notifications every time your boy uploads thank y'all for watching man peace